YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Kuzi, and welcome back to Phasmophobia. In this video, we are covering this week's challenge, Survival of the Fittest. You've got no pills, no sanity, no evidence to work with. It's going to be a tough one, and you got to find the ghost correctly three times on Edgefield. So, we're going to go ahead and do that right now in this video uh so do me a favor before we get into it if you do like this video give me a thumbs up if you don't like it give me a thumbs down if you want to find your way back for more content like this another spooky and other stuff you can hit the subscribe button with notifications on uh, i am recording this live on my stream right now so if you want to come check me out the link for that is down in the description i'd love to come have you check me out sometime so anyhow enough peter patrick chitter chatter let's get into it okay so at least we don't have lose items and consumables on. So that's that's good. All right. Edgefield. Okay. So let's see here. We have Michelle Knight. Uh, detect the ghost presence with emotion sensor. Cleanse the air with the ghost. Or near the ghost using incense and capture a photo of the ghost. We have zero sanity. Um, no evidence according to the challenge. Uh, but it looks like we have some sanity pills of tier three. We have incense. We have smudges. Um, we have spirit box for some reason, even though we're not going to get evidence for that. Uh, one thing I hate that they didn't give us was video cameras so we could check for the mimic. Uh, the EMF is going to be useful for finding the ghost area. Uh, and I guess the ghost room too, because we don't have the thermometer to tell us where the ghost room is. Um, so this is going to be a bit of a hard one. So we're just going to grab some, uh, flashlights. I mean, we have the tier one head cam, right? But uh, nobody's going to be in the truck to watch us because we're going to uh, we're going to be here. My game is very laggy. Um, OK, so we have. Uh, yeah, it said no sanity pills, but these are sanity stems. There's a loophole. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to since we are at zero sanity, that means the ghost can hunt us at any moment. The second we walk into the door. Um, so what I'm going to do is I didn't mean to smudge. Dang it, bro. All right, so we're going to grab another smudge and go in. I'm going to get the ghost to try to hunt me and try to determine what ghost it is based off of its hunt behavior. If I can't do that, then I will pop the sanity pill to see if we even get any sanity. And then we will go from there. All right. Is the breaker on by default? It is very nice, dude. Oh, my. F <laughs> okay, keycap update. We've lost the uh, number two. Alrighty, Rue. Well, uh, it did a ghost event right here, so that means that the ghost can hunt from right here. Um, well, that's uh, that's terrifying. Okay, it's fine. Everything's good. It's touching a door. It's like following me around. So this makes me think we're dealing with like one of the teleporting ghosts. So that means we're dealing with either like a wraith, a banshee, a phantom. But it's touching this door, so that makes me think that this ghost is, like, right there. Is that... <gasps> oh, okay, it's another ghost event. So this is doing a lot of ghost events. So it did another ghost event from right there. Um, do we have cursed possessions? We don't have the mirror, we don't have the tarot cards. Now it's hunting. Here we go. Let's listen. Um, it's a revenant. Watch, I will prove that. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello? Unless it's mimic. In which case... No, don't come this way. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, hunt's over. All right, so I'm going to guess that this is a revenant. We smudged the ghost, so we have 90 seconds. But since we have no evidence, all we can really do is just go off of that. So I'm going to say revenant. Uh, worst case scenario, it's a mimic. The other thing I'm going to test here is... Okay, so we have sanity... St no, we don't. Never mind. Okay. So... I could have set up the motion sensor, but... If you want to speed run this, this is what you do. So it's either a revenant or a mimic because the revenant will be very slow whenever it can't find you. And then once it detects you, it's fast as shit. So as you see here, we got it. 
All right, so one down, two to go. All right, let's focus on trying to get the challenges done here um, on this run. Try to do like a true thing. So we'll we'll do the same strategy. We'll go in with the smudge stick. Um, the good thing about the tier three, it's not completely useless because it does give you a 10 second stamina boost. So even though it doesn't restore stamina or sanity, it does prevent your stamina from draining from wherever it's at uh, for 10 seconds. So you don't want to use that whenever you are out of breath, essentially. Okay, so I wasn't able to really see. If we had cursed possessions, I, I didn't see. Yeah, no Ouija board. All right, the ghost is here. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, it's normal speed. So I'm doing anything funky. Uh, it's a phantom, because we can't freaking see him. I'm dead. But it doesn't matter in this. Okay, so, uh, second try. We got a very obvious ghost here again. Okay. So a phantom, whenever it's hunting you, it will blink and be more invisible. So I guess blink a lot less. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. All right, well, we're getting lucky here. Okay, let's hope we can do the challenges, or the objectives here, on this last run. Because I ain't doing it again, bro. Okay. This is where the uh, Camp Woodwind strategy uh, comes in handy. If you don't know what the Camp Woodwind strategy is, I can definitely make a video on that, but it is arguably the best, uh, arguably also the most unethical, but the fastest way to level up in this game. I went from level 8 to level, like, 30 in, like, two days. Right, so I'm gonna check and make sure. Um... No food at all. It's not hunting. Just wait for a hunt and see if we can figure it out. Okay, um, it's not doing anything. Hello, ghost. Can you give me a sign? Shade, maybe. We could do a gin test. Oh, it's fast. This is this is pretty fucking fast. Is it a Dio? It is not a Dio. That tells me it's either a Moroi. Okay, we have to hide. So it's either gonna be a Moroi or a Thay. And how we test that is we get the ghost to hunt us again, which we... So if it's a Thay, we need to spend some time in the ghost room. And then we need to loop the ghost. What do we need? Motion sensor, firelight, okay. Um, we can actually do that. Actually, I'm gonna drop my flashlight. It started hunting from upstairs, so the ghost room's upstairs. I want to keep my smudge stick on me because it's, uh, it's safer that way. I could just put it right here. And then that way, whenever the ghost starts to hunt again, unless it changes ghost rooms. 
We need to kind of loop it, but it's very hard to loop on Edgefield. Um, so, we have actually gotten very lucky. So, it's not a Raiju. It's not a Diogen, because a Diogen is fast, but once it gets close to you, it slows down tremendously. It didn't slow down at all. So, we're actually going to roll it out. Roll out all of the ghosts, except for... Um... Moroy and Thay. So Moroy, its speed is dependent upon your sanity. We are at zero sanity, so it's very fast. Um, but the difference between a Moroy and a Thay, which for the longest time I couldn't differentiate the two, but the difference between the two, whenever they're hunting, especially early on, because the Thay will be fast early on, and then the longer you spend in the ghost room, it will like age and slow down. So the difference between the two is that when the go when the the ghost sees you, if it speeds up, the longer it sees you, like every other ghost in the game, aside from a couple of them, um, it is a Moroi. A Thay cannot speed up the longer it sees you. It's like, it's like a Hantu. So, let's just see here. Turned off the breaker. It's not a gen. We kind of knew that. I'm just going to set that there. Alright, it's hunting. Which kind of sucks, because I have no flashlight. Well, I have no light on. Okay, so it's still fast, but I wasn't in the ghost room. Oh, now it's crawling. Oh, I'm dead. I'm, I'm extremely dead. Okay, it's not speeding up. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Very cool. Okay. So it's not speeding up. So I'm going to say Thay. I could be wrong. It'd be much easier if you could loop it in a much easier spot. But there's not really any looping areas in Edgefield. So we're going to see. <clears throat> Welcome back. I've got some jobs it was a Moroi. Okay. Well... That is, that is my number one arch enemy. So that's the thing, will wander for six seconds after you smudge it. That's every ghost. Uh, then start chasing you, and the other one will wander for 12. Ah! Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Alrighty, good to know, good to know. But see, that's where... It seems like last, um... Last week's challenge, speedrun, and this week's challenge is really, uh... It's easy if you know about the ghosts further than the evidence than they provide. So like if you if you start picking up on like the ghost behavior and stuff like that during a hunt, it'll be very easy to rule it out and figure out what type of ghost you're dealing with, which is why the first two um, challenge attempts, it's hunting. Normal speed. Okay, it's speeding up, so it's not a Hantu. It's none of the fast ghosts. Survive the hunt. Um, one thing I wasn't paying attention to was the um, blinking. Because it could be Oni. Oni is opposite of Phantom. It'll be much more visible whenever it's uh, hunting you. And it started hunting from like back here, I think. Are you in here? So we're dealing with a normal speed ghost, so let's back out. Um, it was very visible, so it's not a phantom. Uh, it's not a Diogen, not a Moroi, not a Thay. It's not the twins, because twins is either slightly faster or slightly slower than normal speed. It's sped up the longer it saw us, so it's not a Hantu. It's definitely not a Revenant. Um, it's not a Raiju, because we turned on our flashlight there for a minute, and it didn't speed up. It's blinking quite a lot, but not as much as phantom, yeah. Um, let's see. It wasn't really throwing much, 
But then again, the poltergeist, you can't really check for that. Unless you, on this map, unless you set up stuff in the middle. And this ghost haunts, I am 100% just screwed. Yep. So now we have to hide. I think I'm just gonna wing it, because the good thing about this is that... Oh, it's crawling. Um... Yeah, this is not a poltergeist. I'm gonna die. It didn't shapeshift, so it's not an Obake. I wanna- I'm guessing Oni. Because I feel like it was... It was very visible. I'm probably wrong. I am, it was Welcome a shape. Okay. So, that's pain and suffering. Alrighty! Well, we go again. We've arrived. Check the equipment and get set up before investigating. We have to go from hunting. EMF. Alright. Let's just go with uh, the strategy that works for us. I hope we get like an obvious ghost, like a Diogen. I love Diogens, man. Could just wait for it to haunt us. Let the constant dying begin, for real. Hello? Hello, ghost. It's not haunting yet, which is fine. Where are you? Can you give me a sign? In the basement? Yeah, it's in the basement. It's normal speed. It's not a miling. No, I haven't yet, Dylan. And it's definitely not a Hantu, because a Hantu would have been faster. Oh, shit. A Hantu would have been faster because the lights were off in the basement. Alrighty. So it's in the basement. Great. Great. We love that. Love a good basement ghost. Absolutely terrifying. Alright. Um, I need EMF. Do I need this? Yes. Okay. Um. All right, we smudged the ghost, so it's fine. Hello, ghost. Can you give me a sign? Okay. Grab another smudge. Could also test for wraith too. Uh, another smudge, salt. Graphics aren't that bad, better than most mobile games? Okay. Does it eat at your phone battery though? Okay, not a wraith. <laughs> All right, we live so far. It should burn the crucifix, but who knows? Um. All right, so it's not a wraith, we know that. Are you still in here? Oh, this is the ghost room. Stepped in that salt. Oh. 
Oh, you're gonna start hunting from right here, huh? Be gone! Okay, no Oni or Phantom. It's not doing any weird blinking. I might die here, bro. Low key. I'm out of I'm out of stamina. I'm dead. Yep. Look at there. Alright, so we just guessed then. Um Not a mare, not a haunt. I'ma just say shade. You maybe play it like 15 to 30 minutes, so I'm not sure. Gotcha. It was a mare? Wow. Alrighty, Roo. Well, we keep going. Sometimes that's how this happens. If you don't get a ghost, it's obvious during a hunt. Uh, uh yeah, I kind of won against the green screen. I need more lighting. I didn't mean to grab two smudge sticks. All right. So if you get a ghost that's obvious during a hunt, it's very easy to do this. So I'm hoping we get that here. That's normal speed. Oh, it's an Obake! Did you see that? That's cool, bro. He changed into the little fat butcher guy, and then he changed again! Very nice. Unless it's a mimic, and then we're, we're screwed, so. And Fortnite does eat at your battery, so, it hard, so it's hard to tell if that game does. Our game is, our hunt is over. Let's skedaddle and find out if we're dealing with a mimic or an Obake. So that's the Obake ability. We did it! I got an achievement taking all challenges. Complete the weekly challenge mode ten times. We did it! Alright, so, uh, as you saw, there's gonna be a lot of fails. Uh, especially if you don't really know how to recognize the ghost during a hunt. Or if it's a situation where you just get a ghost that doesn't have any obvious behavior during a hunt. That's just how it is. But the good thing is, if you die, you don't lose anything because the loadout is provided for you. So. Uh, if you find yourself in a situation like I did, where you get a couple obvious ghosts, and then you have a stretch of, like, some harder to figure out ghosts without any evidence, uh, just keep going. Because sooner or later, you're gonna get one of those obvious ghosts. But, again, just like last week, this, this challenge is very, like, it's, knowing the ghost behavior outside of, like, their evidence and stuff, is very beneficial because it helps you complete challenges like this faster because if you walk in and you get an obvious behavior of a ghost during a hunt then you can immediately just be like okay it's that get out and then there's the one-off scenario where it could be that but then it's actually the mimic in which case you just fire it up again and go so anyways i hope you enjoyed this i hope this was helpful for you um but yeah uh, so do me a favor if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you don't like it give me a thumbs down if you want to find your way back for more content like this and other stuff you can hit the subscribe button with notifications on um also again i'm recording this live on my stream um the link for that is down in the description below i'd love to have you come check me out sometime uh you're more than welcome here okay so anyways until next time thank you for watching thank you for being here and, and as always take care of yourself take care of each other be proud of yourself and don't stop being who you are you're valued, you are loved, you belong in this community. I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Take care.